Hi, so my previous videos I installed WebPress from scratch using the MySQL. So MySQL is uh, actually owned by Oracle. It was bought by Oracle about four, five, six years ago. So there's actually a fork to the MySQL code. And the MySQL code is now maintained the, by the original developers uh, under MariaDB. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install WordPress on MariaDB, which is basically a drop-in and uh, the compatibility between MariaDB and MySQL is seamless. Uh, so I'm gonna, uh, well, at least it's seamless for uh, WordPress. So I'm gonna open up uh, the download links here and uh, show you where to download the software. So, so for the first thing I'm gonna do is download the uh, PHP plugin for IIS. Uh, and then I'm going to download the MariaDB database and then I'm going to download uh, the WordPress files then I'm going to go ahead and proceed to install WordPress on uh, all three so um, here are the websites and I've downloaded the PHP files already uh, ahead, ahead of time and uh, MariaDB the neat thing about that is it, it comes with a convenient uh, management GUI so we'll be uh, configuring the WordPress database that way. And here are the WordPress uh, source files or uh, binaries uh, for the WordPress website. So I've already downloaded all of that and I'm gonna start to install it. So the first thing I'm gonna install is the PHP plugin. And if you go into IIS and you highlight the uh, server, uh, you'll notice under default documents, I don't have a .php so after I install this plugin it's gonna show up so I'm gonna run uh, and it's gonna bring up the web platform installer and it's gonna install the PHP 5.3 I believe yeah 5.3.24 that way and I'm gonna hit accept here and as that installs I am gonna also install MariaDB here. So I'm going to kick off the installation of MariaDB. And I'm going to just use the defaults here and I'm just going to give it a password for my administrator password here. Uh, something simple, password 123, um, enable access from remote machines and I want the default to be UTF-8 which will support a, a set of international characters and I just want the service to be named MariaDB and it's gonna run on the same MySQL port and you'll notice in the background the PHP 5 has been done installing so I'm gonna click finish Okay, so it's done installing, and I'm gonna click finish here. And this is also done in installing uh, the PHP. So I'm just gonna click exit. And uh, just to show you how I confirm uh, the PHP is installed, I normally go into the IES manager, and I'll click default documents. And you'll notice here, uh, it actually put in the entry for the default PHP. So I at least know uh, for the most part it, it was installed or it uh, attempted an install. We'll see whether it installed successfully. Uh, but it's a good chance that since it's there, it has. Um, so that's a quick way of verifying that. Um, so now I am going to configure the database and I'm gonna do something simple here. If I move this over you notice now on the desktop there's something called install called Heidi SQL. I'm going to double click that to bring up the management console of um, the MariaDB. So this is the management console. I'm just going to click new here and I'm going to log in as the administrator. So the default administrator is called root and the password I gave it was password123 and I'm going to open this up and uh, right away I could manage my databases so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, right click the top node here and say create new database I'm gonna call it toys DB click OK 
and I'm gonna add a user now and the user I am gonna add is toys DB admin and give it a password uh, password one two three password one two three and here I have to add I, I don't want to give the permissions here to the global instance meaning to the entire MariaDB I really just uh, want to give it to uh, one of my databases so I'm gonna click add object add object here I'm gonna select my database and I'm gonna check everything because this is gonna be the super user of my database and I am gonna click Save and you'll notice uh, here it can log in via the local host meaning the database has to be on the same machine that the uh, web servers on if that's not the case I'll have to create another instance and put the uh, wildcard here which is uh, this this uh, percent sign so now my database and user is set up for the database uh, that I'm going to use for my WordPress. I'm going to go to the WordPress files that I downloaded here, extract them, and because I'm going to put my website in a standard location for all my uh, WordPress files, I'm going to copy all the WordPress files here. Go open up another Windows Explorer I'm going to go to root and I'm going to name a folder called WordPress root I'm going to paste my files here I'm going to rename this to toys website and just to double check if I double click on it these are where the files are and now I, I have to configure the configuration file. So I'm gonna, this is the WP WordPress config sample. I'm gonna copy that and rename it to WP-config because that's how the config runs. I'm gonna open it up in a text editor and what I'm gonna do is put in the usernames and passwords and databases that I set up before. So if you remember, I set it up as toys DB. The user that I was using was toys DB admin, which is the login for the database user, and I put in password one two three, and my server's local host, which is the uh, local server uh, that I have. And normally, you would change each one of these tokens here so this this uh, allows you th these are the salts for all the hashes so if you leave this uh, the same for every one of these uh, people that install other instances when they get a when they get a hold of your database they'll be able to actually decrypt it easier because they know the salt is this so you might want to change this for every one of these and it, actually it's very good practice to change you know this to some random uh, some random string or whatever convention that you have so uh, make sure you change that in the demo here I'm not going to change it so I'm going to save this file that's really all the three things you have to change and now I'm going to set up a because I'm configuring, configuring multiple websites for my IES I'm actually gonna change my host file so the host file is basically um, a lookup for the IP address so temporarily because I'm doing it locally on my current machine uh, if you were doing this for a real website you would actually map this in your DNS server so uh, 127.0.0.1 and I am gonna name it www.toys website so again you would put this in your DNS server not in your host file uh, if you were doing it on a live website but for demo purposes I am gonna uh, put it in my host file so now I have to go to IS and point a website to these files that I've just uh, put under WebPress root and I'm gonna do that go under my IS 
right click here add a new website and my website name is going to be toys website and I'm going to navigate to my files or press root my toys website and this is a host header so if if I am uh, hosting multiple websites under IS uh, for the for most cases, the most common way to do that is to use uh, what's called host headers. So if a person typing this in their browser, this will pass it over to the IS web server and it would route it to the right website uh, based on this host header uh, if that IS server is serving up multiple websites. So that's what this is for. Um, so I'm gonna click OK here. And now I'm gonna bring it up in a browser and we'll see that it brings up the default uh, for me to configure it. I'm gonna just click uh, English, click OK. So now I am configuring my WordPress site and I am just gonna call it Toys Admin. And again, just a simple password. going to click install WordPress and there you go it's actually done now so if I log in to administer my website you'll see now I could administer my website here and if I go to the root which is where uh, most most visitors would see the website so I, I don't have a skin here so it's very bare, bare bones but um so that's it that's really how you install the WordPress uh, on MariaDB and um, it's really a lot simpler than uh, installing it via the uh, MySQL uh, that Oracle has so alright uh, thank you for watching and I hope that helps and uh, enjoy